The process of uh, contraction in the muscle is uh, called excitation contraction couple when the action potentials uh, hits to the muscle fiber through the terminal button of the motor neuron which subsequently brings about the contraction or shortening of the sarcomere in the muscle fiber the structural and functional unit of the the neuromuscular junction and the the schematic diagram of the dark light band sarcomere is shown just right there so let us the, see the contraction uh, process and the, once the action potential arrives in the terminal button so that activates the calcium channels voltage calcium channels at the tip of the motor neuron and triggers the calcium influx so the calcium influx uh, causes the exocytosis of acetylcholine from the vesicles so that once the acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter releases in the the cleft neuromuscular junction it's uh, go and binds with the acetylcholine receptor on the post uh, motor end plate so that is called motor end plate muscle fiber so we have many acetylcholine receptors on the muscle fiber motor end plate which are the absolutely the sodium channels ligand gated sodium channels so this sodium channel influx would trigger the the end plate potential is a and thereby genesis of action potential so once the sodium influx the because of a positive entry inside the muscle fiber or cell brings about the positive change reversal potential and once the action potential generated that is propagated across the muscle fiber in all directions from the terminal button uh, mainly helps by the the sarcoplasmic reticulum t tubular triad system so the once the calcium released from uh, the sarcoplasmic reticulum so highly modified sarcoplasmic reticulums are acting as a storage for the calcium ions and uh, once it, the calcium scattered in the cytosol which binds subsequently to the troponin c which is calcium binding proton uh, protein which is uh, there in the complex uh, with the actin fiber and uh, thereby it forms the cross bridge formation and subsequently shortening of the sarcomere in the muscle so this is what happens during the contraction phase and uh, during the relaxation phase the process would be the reverse the once the calcium actually uh, you know finishes its function the uh, the pumping uh, the channels in the sarcoplasmic reticulum which pumps back the calcium ions to sarcoplasmic reticulum so that's where the calcium uh, concentrate concentration gradually decreases uh, nearby sarcoplasmic reticulum and uh, it uh, you know you know sucks of the calcium ions from the troponin c and thereby the cessation of the actin myosin interaction and increases the sarcomere length this is what happens during the relaxation phase of the muscle contraction process that is what shown in the left side illustration with the uh, thick myosin filament surrounded by the thin actin filaments in the sarcomere during the contraction process the myosin heads pulls the the actin filaments towards the center otherwise towards the h line of a dark band so the enlarged globular protein of the actin filament shown over here during the relaxation phase the actin filaments usually covers with the tropomyosin and the troponin c or troponin i or the globular protein attached with the the actin filaments during the contraction what happens the head of the myosin which pulls essentially the the actin filament stores the h line and during the relaxation the head of the myosin just simply 
you know give up the interaction this is called recocking position that's where the atp uh, splits into the adp and uh, pyridine that so now this atp splitting is energizing the the head of the myosin is uh, and uh, relaxing and ready for the next you know cross bridge formation this is called recock position and usually the troponin myosin covers the actin filaments in the resting phase and the acetylcholine esterase uh, which breaks the acetylcholine and prepare for the next contraction thanks for watching